Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? this message find you doing well this is my digital journey I have been led by the Holy Spirit to bring you golden nuggets each and every day hello to my family and friends I love you guys thank you for joining me on this digital journey I know that it's a lot I hope that you're keeping up with me because I know that these golden drop nuggets that I'm dropping is beneficial and I pray that you are applying them into your everyday life. So go ahead, subscribe to my channel, share it with your family, share it with your friends. And um, let's go ahead and just get this message for today started. Today is actually day 147, episode 147. If you didn't have a chance, I hope that you can go back and look at my episode yesterday. Um, it was really good. Um, it was about exceedingly and abundantly. And uh, we were talking that particular scripture was Ephesians 3 20 um, and it was talking about it's just an awesome promise um, that God has made to us know that we are covered and that we have protection despite whatever circumstances that we're going through so go ahead and take a look at that the word for today is contract yes contract um, and I think the Holy Spirit um, decided on this particular word so that I can get uh, a different look on what it is that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the way that they do things. You know, the God ways and our ways are not the same ways. But um, when we're going through whatever it is that we're going through, it's always good to see something through different lens so i've had my episodes previously are talking about um being stuck um in a in a certain place not sure what it is that you're doing and then um talked about sila which was episode 145 the message that i'm giving you today you're going to need to pause because the meaning of sila is to pause reflect panda because this is a good one okay in reference to contracts so when we talk about contracts we're talking about you having an agreement um some people may it could be suggested as a vow or a promise or you know something that you have in place which is something that is, like you say, is a guarantee, you know? Um, let's talk about work contracts. When you have a work contract, you have certain stipulations and guidelines within that contract. It may be for a specific time period. You have everything laid out in the contract. If you do this, you will get this. Sometimes you have bonuses. Sometimes you have retractions. It all depends on how the contract is formulated. Okay? So with a work contract, you know that you have this contract with this employer. If it's for a set time, you would expect the um, employer to honor the contract. And then you coming in as a person working the contract, supposed to be doing the things that's in the contract. Um, football players here, um, the NFL league, they've got contracts. Baseball athletes, they sign contracts. So it's a lot in reference to pertaining to works, 
um, events, whatever it is that you have going on, we have contracts. And contracts are good. It gives you a sense of, you know, security that you have something that is binding, okay? But in our society today, um, people like to walk away from contracts. They like to break them. Um, they like to break agreements. They like to break vows, you know, I'm talking about marriages, you know, somebody a little cough, <coughs> you know, oh, you, they're looking at you in a different way, you know, for better, for worse, they forgot <laughs> that they take that particular vow. You know, it's just crazy. You know, something happened. They're not the same person that you met 10 years ago. So now you're ready to exit stage left because they're not doing what it is that you want them to do. So it, I see where the Holy Spirit is literally going with this particular topic. But what I wanted to bring to you today is some scriptures just to show you the difference between men and God. So if you have a contract with God versus so if you have a contract with man, the outcome is going to be different. Okay. The first one uh, scripture I want to read to you is Numbers chapter 30 verses 2. And it says, if a man vows a vow to the Lord or swears an oath, to bind himself by a pledge. He shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. Especially when you make a contract, an oath, uh, 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 buying yourself to a pledge and you said, so say for instance, my oath and my pledge to God is, okay, God, I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to give you the wheel. I trust you. That is what I am saying. Um, and God expects me to do that. No matter what it is come my way, he wants to make sure that I'm going to stand on the oath, on the pledge, on the vow that I said that I'm going to do. Okay? Um, what we need to know is that God is not a man. It tells us that in scripture that he is not a man and he does not lie. It says it in uh, Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should not lie or a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said and will he not do it? Or has he spoken and then will he not fulfill it? So this is a reminder for me because I do have a work contract that was put in place in August of 2021. Um, things may not seem to be going the way in the contract, especially word for word. But here we go. The scripture tells me that God is not a man. And he should not lie. So I should not be worried about the contract that we have because God does not break promises. He's not a man. He is not going to lie. Um, there's a lot of states and there's a lot of companies and businesses that you work for. And it's at will. I mean, there's no contract. There's nothing binding. You could be the best employee. You could be the best... Um, at whatever it is that you do and they could without any notice just go ahead and terminate you because it's an at will state okay or an at will company and those are not um something that is forthright or that is something that i would encourage anyone um to basically get themselves into because then there's no guarantee there's no security with God, you have guarantee, you have security, you know that he's not going to break anything on your promises or anything that he says. So any position or anything that I'm doing, I am securing a contract so that I can make sure that it's for a time set and that we all are on the same page and we have an agreement that not you're not going to hire me to do something today and then tomorrow you change your mind because it's writing, it is written, it's in you know, there's something about something in a written form. The Bible always tells us to write stuff down. He even tells you to write your vision down. So don't let anybody fool you, okay? Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Don't let anybody try to change your mind and say, oh, well, you know, that's the way it's supposed to be. No, that is not the way it's supposed to be, okay? Let me find another scripture um, about how God operates and in reference to agreements. Okay. It does already tells us 
that if we lack any wisdom, let us ask God. And he's the one who gives generously to all without reproach. And it will be given back to him. Okay. And then, um, know therefore, this is Deuteronomy 7, 9. It says, know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenants and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So the golden nugget for today is whatever you do, seriously think about always making sure that you and that individual are on the same page um, and that if you have contract, you have contract assignments, um, you do your part. Make sure that the stipulations within the contract would be definitely beneficial to both parties. No one is taking advantage of anything. It's written plain in black and white that it's understandable. Um, we know that the scripture tells us that we should not break our vows. You do your part, the other party do their part. Because when it comes to God, you know that he's not going to break a contract. He's not going to break an agreement. He's not going to break a covenant. He's not going to break an oath. He's not going to break a promise. Okay? That is one thing that you can be sure of. So make sure that you are leaning on that person that is a security, that is a guarantee. And if he gives you specific instructions, follow the instructions. And don't try to take it onto yourself because God knows what's best. So that golden nugget for today, you need to sila, pause, ponder, reflect on it because it has volume and it has weight. My question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. Let's be fed daily bread.